There's a story out on the wires today also that the um, uh, the American administration, uh, the, as high as President Obama, but certainly Hillary Clinton as well, lobbied the Japanese not to give up on nuclear power in the last month. So there was intensive pressure from the Americans as well as from the Japanese business interests to sort of create this fuzzy deadline that's so far down the road that really nobody has to do anything right now. Well, why does the U.S. want Japan to stay nuclear? Um, You know, we have a very uh, pro-nuclear policy in the United States, Uh, you know, President Obama, of course, was you know from Illinois, and the biggest um, you know the the biggest early money in his com- campaign came from Exelon. So he's been heavily influenced by by pro nuclear um, lobbyists for the entire administration. Um, it's an export commodity, but according to the, the the press reports that are out there today, it's more than that. It was a fear that 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 it would become a contagion, if you will. If the Germans could eliminate nuclear and the Japanese could eliminate nuclear, the fear was that, you know, why why can't that happen in America too? So the pressure was on the Japanese to stop the contagion and, and basically just say, well, the Germans are on their own little, um, singing their own little tune, but the rest of the world is still pro-nuclear. So this guy walks up to me and he goes, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam. I said, relax, man, you're too tense. 